Hello and good day, grade 9, 10, physical science students. Here we are again at the Remote Valley Christian Academy uh, video site for our grade 9, 10 science. This afternoon we are going to do an experiment that involves creating a magnet, or more correctly, electromagnets. What I want you to do first is get your textbooks and turn with me to page 139. And here you'll see the diagram, which you should be familiar with by now, on page 139, figure number 6.2, where it shows the magnetic fields of the Earth, as scientists believe uh, they behave and line up in this way. You'll see the, what looks like a magnet bar there. Of course, that's just uh, uh, an idea there of how things perform. So North Pole, South Pole, and then the bands of the magnetic fields. Notice they extend out from the Earth long distances, hundreds if not thousands of kilometers. The Earth acts in a lot of ways like a great big magnet. For our experiment, turn the page, 140, right over, and you should see at the top, experiment 6.3, making an electromagnet. And look first, of course, at the supply list. And we're going to go over that. Uh, I'll put down my textbook. To prepare the experiment, of course, I needed to use some tools. I had to cut with an, uh, two feet of wire, or 24 inches, 60 centimeters of wire, so I had to use a tape measure. And I used 20 gauge copper wire coated with plastic. And I had to use a pair of... Uh, wire cutter strippers to strip the ends of the, uh, of, of the wire, like right here. So I have an exposed uh, end of a wire which will attach to the terminal of the battery. These wire cutters were handy in that. And then of course I used tape to set up, but also we will use the tape during the experiment. For the experiment procedure itself, I have the batteries partly set up. The wires are already wound. I did that previous to save time and to make things a little easier. This is a three inch uh, standard nail. And this is a three and a quarter inch leg screw. They're both made of a material or a kind of metal that can be magnetized. We have paper clips here coated in plastic, but inside they're metal. So don't forget, we're going to see if these will pick up. And then we have a safety pin and then a number of different paper clips. They're all metal, there's no coating on them. And you will note that in the supply list. So let's get started. I've been working at this and I can say that it definitely worked. Uh, while I was experimenting with it. Well, let's hope it works now for our video. Okay, you ready? Let's look down uh, at here where my work area is. The first thing I'm going to do is actually to make this simpler and demonstrate is take this nail out of the wire and I'm going to touch it to each of these magnetic clips. And notice there's no response. The clips do not try to come up with it. This nail is not magnetized. Okay? but we're going to magnetize it. And here goes. So I put the nail back through the wire, as you see here. One uh, of the, the ends of the wire is already attached. I'm going to take this one now and attach it and firmly tape it as firmly as I possibly, possibly can to the battery. And then Having let the electricity flow through, watch what happens. You'll see that, see that start to pick up a bit? It does try to pick it up. There it goes. There we go. Success! Look at that. So it picks up the uh, coated. It, it can actually pick up these plastic ones. Now, it dropped it because, remember, there's plastic coating, plus it isn't horribly strong. This is a 1.5 volt battery. The experiment... Uh, in the book mentioned not to use anything stronger because it could burn your hands and I do feel heat holding the ends of the wire on the battery by the way and look at that it picks up the safety pin 
and when it, notice when the wire comes out, it doesn't pick up the safety. It does not pick up the safety pin. Sorry, class. It does not pick up the safety pin, showing that the experiment does work. It did magnetize it, and the and, it, and as soon as the wire comes off, the magnetic flow stops. Now I'm going to attach the wire again. There. Look at that. And look at this. How many can I pick up? Let's have a look here. Whoops, it got caught in my cloth thing. I find two. It not, it's not really strong enough to pick up three. Now watch class what happens when I take off the... There you go. You take the wire off. The things just... Whoops, I'm sorry. I want you to see it. But the things drop off. Now, let me take a moment to line everything up again. And we're going to see how this works with the slightly larger uh, leg bolt. I call it a leg bolt, leg screw. Some of you might be familiar with this, especially if you have a parent who's in construction or home projects. I'm going to take the, the wire and fasten it to the bottom of the battery. Put the tape on to help keep it on and also to protect my finger. Hint. It should, again, should you try this at home? The recommendation is if you try this at home, please wear a thin pair of insulated gloves, slightly, so you don't want too much. You want to be able to feel what you're doing. Now, and it comes off on me. Well, this is what happens. It's experimentation, it's science, things happen. Uh, but actually, that does help because I put the screw on top here, and notice it doesn't pick anything up because you notice the wire. Is not on the battery, right? Now, what I'm going to do is put this back on. This time I'm going to hold it on as securely as I can. And now it wants to come out on me. It's not really cooperating because I probably don't have it wound on the end there quite right. That's part of our experimentation. We learn things go don't go quite right why and then we fix it and I'm gonna line this up again as best as I can there now will this work look at this class isn't that great and you notice that this nail is holding it up better you see that very hard to shake off I want you to note in your observations that it does that and in your conclusion class, please give me an explanation why the bigger nail works better. This is almost getting too hot to hold, but I want to just keep going as long as I can. Look at that, it's picking up. Almost. Everything in sight. Look at that. Three. It did better than the other one, didn't it? Watch. Can we get four? I don't know. We can get four or not. Oh, I'm losing it. It's because the wire has come off and I wasn't aware of that. There. Now watch when I take the wire off. Actually, this one lasts longer. Look at it. It is still magnetized. I'm amazed. It's an unexpected result. Please note the unexpected result. There. I had to shake that off. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. Now, class, you've watched the observations and uh, or the demonstration I should say please make your observations carefully and make note also particularly of the certain things that happened that weren't quite expected and the differences between the three inch nail and the three and a quarter inch uh, leg screw so once you've written up your observations and if you need to watch the video more than once then draw up your conclusions now to draw a proper conclusion you need to have been studying in the textbook this section here or, or down through here and here so you can draw a proper conclusion. Please work more on your conclusions. I noticed from some of your labs that your conclusions, some of you still aren't quite strong enough. Please work a little more on those. They're very important. All right. Thank you very, very much. Well, I think that's it for today. Once again, from the VCA remote uh, grade 9, 10 science um, video site are creating an electromagnet. One thing I do want to mention before we close is that, uh, and I'll go back 
to the uh, illustration or the figure on page 139, and you should have read this already in, in your readings, is that Earth's magnetic field is one of God's gifts to us because the Earth's magnetic field protects us from cosmic rays from the sun and that would kill or destroy life on Earth. If the magnetic fields were too strong, they themselves would be the problem and destroy life on Earth with magnetic storms, worse than any weather than you've ever experienced in your life here on Earth. And if they're too weak, the cosmic rays would get through and life on Earth would be impossible. Yet another proof that Earth is just in the right spot with the right stuff around it to keep it safe. So, all the best and God bless you as you write this up. Have a good day.